Hi, I am Sarah Moser for Choices Coach, and this is another episode in my video series called My Favorite Things. And today I am going to be discussing my favorite anti-aging secrets. <sighs> They're not really gonna be secrets anymore, are they? So, where to begin? So I think we have to start with skincare because that's the foundation, right? So I'm just gonna show you some of the products that I use. And I wanna kind of preface this by saying, first and foremost, we have to take care of ourselves from the inside out. So diet and exercise, being careful what we eat, what kind of portions we eat, making sure we exercise, making sure that we take care of our temple, that's really, that's really first and foremost. This, these other things are just kind of topical and they would be a band-aid on the problem if you don't address your fitness and your food, okay, first. So, what do I do after I've washed my face? Now, I have to say, like, what do I wash my face with? I wash my face actually with olive oil bar soap and so I'm not doing anything fancy there. It's just very, very simple. And I have to preface this also by saying that I have sensitive skin with a little bit of rosacea, so I tend to get ready and redness very easily. Obviously, I'm fair skinned, you can just look at me and see that. And so these skincare items are with those needs in mind that I can't just put any old thing on my face. I can't put a lot of harsh chemicals on my face or my skin gets really, really irritated. And so you may want to follow some totally different protocol that suits you and your individual skincare needs. And then I will also say at the time of filming this, I am 44 years old and so take that for what it's worth. You may think I look young. You may think that I look, oh, like you should have been doing way better with your skincare than this. You might think that I have no business talking about anti-aging secrets. That's totally up to you and that's all in the eye of the beholder. And by all means, don't feel the need to troll me about this and answer these questions. You don't have to, okay? Positive feedback only, please. I am, I am a human being. Um, so I'm going to tell you what I start with. After I've washed my face and I get out of the shower, just as soon as I can, when I have clean skin, I try to use this Acure, if you can see that. There we go. Acure Rosehip Oil. So this is the anti-aging ingredient that I love. So basically what I do, I'll show you here, is I put just a few drops of that in my hand. Then, ideally, what I would love to have all the time is Evan Healy Lavender Hydrosol because it works awesome for calming the skin. So that is one of the things that I use specifically to calm down the redness in my skin. But I don't have that anymore because it was getting expensive and I just thought, well, I don't have to have Hydrosol. I can kind of just make my own calming essential oil lavender spray at home. So basically what this is in this bottle, I just saved a bottle of the Evan Healy Hydrosol. I saved that glass bottle and I put in here distilled water. You want to make sure that you use distilled water, not just any old water from the tap. It's got to be distilled water so that it stays pure. And then I add to this several drops of this brand, doesn't have to be this brand necessarily, I'm just showing you what I use. If you can see that, sorry, it's so bright. Lavender Aura, Aura Acacia, I guess is the brand, Lavender Calming Essential Oil. So I'll put several drops of this and probably like, probably like eight drops of that in this distilled water. And then I also use this I don't even know if I can say that word, if you can see that. So it's basically helichrysum, helichrysum, I don't know how you say that word, I should have researched this before I jumped on here. But this is good for any scarring that you might have. 
and it stinks. It doesn't smell good, but I'll just use a few drops of that in my distilled water solution. You shake that up, you spray it. Now my oil is all over the place because I wasn't mindful that I still had oil <laughs> in my hand. So then you spray that and then you rub your hands together and then you pat that on your face. And I have obviously a full face of makeup caked on because I'm filming and you know, I'm gonna be honest, I wear a lot more makeup whenever I'm filming because I'm just trying to, you know, put my best foot forward, so to speak, or in this plate, or in this case, a face, right? Okay, well anyway, I'm just gonna dab that on my neck because my neck could always use some more anti-aging on it, big time. That's the place where I do have like the most wrinkles, like, oh, shouldn't have done all that tanning when I was young. So this is the other thing is I do stay out of the sun. I do try to wear makeup with SPF in it every day. If I'm not wearing makeup, well then I'm out there just kind of taking some risks with my sensitive skin. But I make sure that I have SPF in my makeup and since I drive to clients and I have the sun on my face, particularly that side, a lot, even on a cloudy day, you're still getting some rays. And I've seen pictures where they showed a truck driver's face on this side versus this side, and the wrinkles were way worse on this side than they were on this side. And so, you know, there's that. So I wear SPF quite a bit, even when it's the winter. And that's also why I look this level of pasty. Yeah, you have to work at it. <laughs> I'm just kidding, okay. So, I start with making sure that I have my oil on my face and I use the spray to make sure that it sinks in there. It's the evaporation of this that helps that oil to sink in deeper into your, into your face, into your skin. And so after that, I use, I love this. This is, if you can see that, Derma E Sensitive Skin Moisturizing Cream. And this is so soothing. I'm gonna open it up and show you. I just got a, a new one of these. I had been using the Evan Healy Blue Chamomile, if you can see that. Blue Chamomile Day Moisturizer. I love this. This is probably my favorite, but this this is in the $40 range, you know, upwards, um, a little over $40, I believe. And so it's expensive. So when I ran out of this, I was like, oh, I need to conserve my money and I can't afford that all the time. So I switched and tried this Derma E for sensitive skin and I like it just as well. I think that the Evan Healy Blue Chamomile Day Moisturizer probably smells a little better, but because it was so expensive, I wasn't using as much as my skin needed. And I thought it might be better to get a cheaper product, use more of it, and that I will have a better benefit that way. And so, as you can see, I open that up. This actually has a lovely color. I think the last jar I got the color was kind of like a greenish or brownish color. This They might have updated the formula. Um, and it doesn't smell bad. It actually smells pretty clean. Or actually it smells, I should say, it smells like it doesn't have any fragrance at all. Which is good because when you have sensitive skin, it's oftentimes the fragrance that irritates your skin. And so this stuff works really well. I It's probably in the $25 range-ish, don't quote me on that, but it's not super, super pricey. And yeah, that's a little more expensive than your drugstore find, but it's good stuff. And I'm sure you can probably get this off of Amazon or your Whole Foods store. I get it from a local place called Sprouts that's here in Kansas City. I love it. Or you can maybe get it at Green Acres here in Kansas City, I'm not sure. Uh, actually, it's Green Acres that I bought it from but you can probably get it at Sprouts as well. So that's what I do 
for my daytime moisturizer. For my evening moisturizer, I do step out a little bit into that risky area of stuff that is gonna be a little bit more firming and not necessarily formulated for sensitive skin. So I use the Derma E at night, the hydrating night cream. It's a lot thicker and in the winter I need extra moisturizer. So I put this on at night and I don't know if I'll do that in the summer. In the summer whenever we don't have the heat going and it's not so dry in here then I don't necessarily need something this heavy because I have combination skin. But in the winter I need it on my cheeks. I mean the cheeks on my face. <laughs> not that anyone was concerned. Okay moving right along this is the other thing you know i talked about the diet being the foundation diet and exercise like you have to take care of yourself from the inside out before we even start worrying about the skin like we got to worry about what we're putting in our body what i use for anti-aging internally is i love 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 the derma matrix collagen powder with hyaluronic acid in it i use, i take i started taking this actually for my joints and it helped a ton with the inflammation in my joints, particularly my knees. But I was having inflammation in all of my joints. It was easier actually for me to just tell you the joints that didn't hurt. And then I started taking this. I started making sure I was really stretched out, all that great stuff. I lost some weight. I used to be 50 pounds heavier. So, you know, losing the weight helped as well. But this really, really helped. I understand that they're going to have new packaging, so it's not necessarily gonna look like this forever, but it is the NeoCell Platinum Matrix Collection Derma Matrix Collagen Skin Complex, and I like the powder. I use one scoop of this in my coffee once a day, and it is 20 calories, so a scoop is 20 calories. I just do one scoop, and then it is gluten-free, if you wanted to know that. Worth an honorable mention, which I don't use this all the time because I just prefer using the one scoop in my coffee. That just works best for me because I'm not that big of a tea drinker. But if you're like, hey, I hate coffee. I don't wanna have it in my coffee. What do I do? Well, you can also put it in tea. And if you want a flavored one, I also did enjoy this brand. This is Vital Proteins Beauty Collagen 12 grams of collagen per serving, skin, hair, nail, and joint support. It also has a hyaluronic acid in it, and this is tropical hibiscus flavor. They make other flavors, but I don't remember what they were, so you'll just have to research that for yourself online. Now, this suggests a serving size is two scoops, and that's 60 calories. has a lot of ingredients in it, and so you can look that up online. It's got two grams of sugar in it. And I put that in Trader Joe's pomegranate white tea. And so if you make yourself some tea, I do suggest dissolving these, whichever one it is, in hot liquid because it's really gross when it gets clumpy. And if it's not in a hot liquid, it's not gonna dissolve in the same way, if at all. I mean, you could probably whiz it up in a smoothie and it would be fine, but you'd have to blend it. So those are excellent. Love, love, love them. I do not recommend taking collagen alone without the hyaluronic acid. Is that combination that is really, really good for your skin. And it's one of those things that the difference in your skin is so subtle that you wouldn't necessarily notice it until you run out of your collagen. And then you're like, oh, my skin looks terrible. What's happening? And it's like, oh yeah, I'm out of collagen. Okay, so moving right along to makeup. And my tips about makeup really have to do with protecting my skin and also just a couple little tips that I think in terms of make makeup application make a big difference and make you look younger okay so i use a combination of mac foundation that has spf 15 this is studio fix fluid 
you know so I do I do spend some money on my foundation I'm not gonna lie these are not cheap products but I honestly feel like it's worth it to get a good foundation and if you're gonna go cheap then go cheap on some of the other makeup products like blush eyeshadow you can go a little cheaper on those things maybe even go a little cheaper on powder but I feel like the foundation is where it's worth investing a little bit more money. The other foundation product that I use on my face, so I use a combination of these, is I use IT CC Cream, and this one has SPF 50. Now, I had stopped using this for a while because I found out it had snail secretion in it, which is an anti-ager, and I kind of got grossed out by that for like a second, and I thought, I don't know if I should be using that on my face, but then I came to the grips with I came to grips with the fact that I'm not eating it. I'm not eating it. You might say my skin is eating it, but I'm just like, no, the skin is actually like it has a barrier. It take it would take a lot to actually get this, you know, past that barrier because the skin has layers, okay? So I got over that and now I'm using it again and it just works well. It just works well, that's why I use it. and. Since it is a CC cream, I mean, it's got anti-aging, it's got full coverage, it's got color correction, and it's anti-aging. Did I say that twice? It's anti-aging, it's anti-aging, it's anti-aging. I mean, I can't stop saying that because that's why it's worth the extra money. And it's hydrating. And I find that this just works a lot better than some of the other products that I tried trying to go cheaper or whatever, okay? Now, makeup application, there are two things that we really want to make sure that, well, three things, now that I think about it. There's three things that I feel like make a big, big difference in terms of looking older or younger. And that's eyebrows, our teeth, and lashes. So I don't use a lash serum per se, and I don't use um, fake lashes. I'm not saying I'm against that, I just am lazy. <laughs> and I don't have the money for a good lash serum right now. So what I use is I like just getting a good mascara. And this happens to be NARS Climax. And I went to Ulta and the woman working there had great eyelashes and she looked beautiful. She was gorgeous probably in her 20s, maybe her 30s tops. But anyway, it has this beautiful spoolie that has just a ton of bristles to separate and coat your lashes. And it just works really, really well. And it doesn't get clumpy, or at least not very. I mean, some, some mascaras get really clumpy and promise you all these things. And I honestly feel like this one's worth the money. And it is a, a, it's gonna be a little pricier. It's not a drugstore buy. So that's worth the investment. The other thing is eyebrows. So eyebrows, like I went through that period where everybody was over plucking their eyebrows. I did it too. And now I'm all about just letting them grow back in because it's so significant in terms of anti-aging. If you still have your eyebrows, you are going to somehow look younger because as we age, they either just get lighter because they start to get some gray hairs in them. Ah, you know, it happens, it's okay. But you can fill in. So there's a couple things I do. I fill in with a brow powder or even just a dark brown eyeshadow. You can use eyeshadow or, or a light brown. So I'll use a brow powder to kind of fill in where they are sparse, where my eyebrow hairs are sparse. I also like to use, I think the brand is Arden. I'm gonna grab it because I need to just show you. Okay. Ardell, I was saying the wrong thing. So this is dr a drugstore, uh, drugstore buy. Ardell, if you can see that. And this is in blonde brow pomade. 
and I love this product. It's lasted a long time. I hope they still have it. I did not check that out to see if they still have it, but you could get this probably at like CVS or Walgreens. You know, I, I think CVS is probably where I got it. And so that's what it looks like inside the pot. And it, had, it comes with this little, this little brush. So that's how you put it on. And then it's got a little spoolie so that you can, you know, do all that and then what I do is I just dip it in the pot and I'll show you here real quick because I don't even think I did it today that I go over the top and fill that line in first and then I go underneath and then you can kind of fill in like I didn't do a very good job today And then I definitely want that line right here that I kind of make a little triangle. And you know, if you get too much, you can always just kind of go back through and kind of blend so that you definitely have eyebrows, right? That makes a difference. So I love those products. And I think that's it. Oh, and I mentioned whitening your teeth. So definitely you wanna take care of your teeth as best you can. I'm not talking about them being particularly straight, but yeah, it would be awesome if they're straight. Mine aren't completely straight. I probably do need the braces down, like Invisalign on my lower teeth to get some corrected, but I don't actually have the budget for that right now, so I'm just gonna rock them the way they are. But you can take care of your teeth the best that you can by keep, keeping them white and fresh. And what I use for that is I love to use charcoal powder, and I mix that with coconut oil, and then I brush my teeth with that to whiten them. You can use Crest white strips as well, but also just take care of your choppers, you know? Just take good care of them, and that will help you a lot. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up so that it will be higher in the YouTube algorithm and that more people will see it. And hopefully I will be able to help more people. Please subscribe and have an awesome day.